questions? So I, I know you can't comment on that. <laughs> Can you believe that? He's even more fair weather than me. He's got a Yankees hat on. Hey, the Rockies All right, go are ahead. Um, so I, I know you can't comment on you know whether they were good calls or not, but targeting, how difficult is it to really determine what is targeting and what is not? I, I can't really comment on it. Um, we work on hitting, you know, we, hit, we tell our kids to hit in a strike zone, and that's what we work on all the time. And uh, the referees are doing the best job they can to make sure we protect the kids, and so that's, that's we work on it all the time. We even have it drawn on dummies, you know. Basically, it's a strike zone like in baseball, not for the Yankees, but for the Rockies, you know. Do you get explanations from the conference on plays like Nate's on, on Saturday? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll send it in so we can know how to teach them and coach them. If there's anything we've got to coach them, teach differently. Um, right now, I think we did everything exactly the right way. And so, um, but that's, they, the referees are doing a great job of um, making sure they protect our kids. Our, our game's a lot safer and a lot better because of it. So that's going to happen. Um, there's going to be, you know, targeting calls called. And, one side's going to think one thing, one side's going to think the other's always that way. But I think the referees are doing a great job on that. Mike, your defensive line's been playing well all along the last couple of weeks. It's had some really nice stands. What, what have you seen as the improvement from them from uh, even a year ago? Well, um, along with the yeah. addition of they, they, you know, they've, they've, um, um, They're playing better. Um, uh, they've gotten used to it. Uh, Coach Drake's done a great job with some fundamentals um, that's really helped. Um, and then, uh, you know, with uh, Javi, he's in better shape. He just plays harder, longer, can get off blocks, and is able to sustain, uh, which has made him play a lot better. He's played really, really well. And uh, uh, so, uh, and then you know, the addition of Mustafa, he's he's a you know um, a really good football player, made a lot of plays for us. And, um, so it's been good. And Antoine and, and uh, you know, Chris Milano is healthier now. Chase Frankie's making plays. So they're all doing well, and we're able to kind of substitute a little more. So they're staying fresh, and when they get in there, they're playing really hard, and, and that's made a big difference for us. Does that rotation help that much? Then, yeah, it does. Help rotation, you know, rotation does help, and also with the rotation, sometimes it psychs out the offensive line because usually they're the same guys, and they go, oh, "Here comes another one," and here comes another one. So I think that helps, and then here comes one that's good. If they're big and they're athletic, it's not like we're dropping off at all. You talked a lot about Izzy uh, during preseason mm -hmm. camp. Haven't heard his name a whole lot this season. How would you assess his play? Izzy's done well. I mean, up in there sometimes. Um, you know, he's staying, he's keeping the guys off blocks, he's taking care of his gap. You know, a lot of times he's in on a tackle and you can't really tell. Um, and then, you know, we take him out on some passing situations where Mustafa stays in on some of those situations. So, you, you know, you get a sack or a hurry, he's a little bit, you get a little bit more recognition. But um, Izzy's done well, he's been played strong in there. And he'll keep, he'll just keep getting a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better. Um, and so he, um, he's done well. Someone told you you'd be heading to USC 5-0 and before the season. Would you be surprised, or what would be your reaction? No, I wouldn't have been surprised. I, I expect us to win every game we play that we line up and play. Now, we don't always do that, but I expected us to do that. And, um, I'm excited the way the guys have played. And, uh, this team is playing um, extremely well as far as they're not playing perfect, but they just have resiliency, and they just keep bouncing back, and they just keep playing, and they just keep fighting. And, um, so I'm excited where they are. We still got a lot of improvement to do. We had a um, we had a good practice today. We really did. We went outside in the weather and they went around. We our RVAs, which is our routes versus air, where the quarterbacks are throwing to the receivers. So it's raining and it's been, they're running. For, I don't think we dropped one pass. I don't think we've done that yet in RVA. <laughs> and so it showed me they were concentrating and into it. So that was good. You guys are having all the success, but Juwan hasn't been able to mm -hmm. participate a whole lot. Has it been tough to see? Is there a point? Medical redshirt might no, be I, I, um No, we haven't talked about that at all. I mean, we've tried. He's working on getting back, and um, hopefully he can get back. And it is hard seeing him not being able to play and trying to get back. Um, so hopefully uh, hopefully he'll be able to get back soon because he's a really good player and we need him. So. Did he get hurt on that seemingly late hit in the Nebraska game, or was it a different play? That happened? No, that he got hit. Um, he got hurt when he got hit um, 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 over on their sidelines. We saw him in a, in a booth the other day. Has he had a setback? No, uh, what we did is they gave him what they call a PRP injection, where they try to stimulate it quicker because um, he was making progress and then he kind of just st stymied a little bit. So they gave that, and that should circulate more blood. Circulate. Now, I'm not a doctor. I know you stayed at Holiday and Select last night, so you'll know what I'm talking about. But I, um, that's what we did, gave PRP check to try to uh, accelerate that a little bit. 
Every game is important, but when you go to a game like this, do you look at it as a golden opportunity to really take a significant lead in the South by beating USC? Yeah, we, we look at the next Pac-12 game, and we know we're going to have to win a ton of Pac-12 games to win the to, to win the conference, you know, to win our Pac-12 South. And also, this team is a Pac-12 South team, so um, that, that makes it even a little bit bigger game. They're all big, but you know what I'm saying, because you – and if you can beat a Pac-12 South opponent, that puts him a notch behind you. Um, so uh, it's a big game for us. And anytime you go to Southern Cal, you know, historically they're the they've been the best team on the West since they started football, right? Basically. And so it's it's going to be a lot of fun for us. And always playing in the Coliseum is a lot of fun. What do you attribute this team's ability to win close games like they did on Saturday to? I, I think they have a mental toughness. I've kind of said that they have a togetherness. They don't. They don't blink. I know those are all cliches, but they're true. Um, uh, and, you know, our quarterback has been under that many situations now, so he handles it. You know, our safeties and our inside backers have been in those situations so much. You know, they, they're making the checks and they're doing the calls and they're kind of doing – so all of those guys have been in that – they just go out there and keep playing. And they know if they just do their job and do it right and stay calm, that they can – the plays have come to them. All right, thanks, thanks. Thanks.